Hi. As you can see, I'm not driving the caddy. We've bought a new van. Have a little look around. And you can see the inside. I'm not going to say to the end of the video what it is when I give you a proper tour. This weekend we're off to Nampara again. So stay with us and enjoy the weekend. attempt this time. A bit better prepared this time. We've got hats, the sun, some water, some walking shoes. If I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best believe The other ring on my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told me I'm using an Osmo Action And I'm also using a Rode microphone I'm hoping it's going to be a lot better sound-wise. I've put an ND filter on the Osmo Action as well, and I'm hoping that's going to just bring out the colours a little bit more. Because I was a little disappointed last time how the colours didn't quite convey what you were seeing, especially the sea. So we'll see what happens. But I just, again, like. Enjoy what we're seeing. This is the final holiday weekend of Cornwall. Not well, final holiday weekend for England, really. Uh, bank holiday, August bank holiday. And uh, a little bit windier than last time. So, as you can see, the sea is a little bit rougher, which will give us far better surf as we look down there. There ain't quite so much green because there's obviously when there's still sea, you see more colour. Path could be quite rough coming down as well. Um, if you're going to do this walk, I should have said it last time, be prepared to wear some sensible shoes. I said last time V was wearing flip flops, and she did. Um, however, she's walking, wearing walking sandals this week, so even she has relented. lovely group of people if you do subscribe and watch my channel hello I didn't get your names but you know who you were watching the seals and 
around the fire. Stop at this area here and swing back. You might just see yourselves. I don't know, but we'll have a look, see if we can see you. Yes, I think I can. There you are. You're just coming down the hill now. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your holiday. One really great thing i found since carrying this little rig like this, people actually want to talk to you and ask you what you're doing, which is great. Really lovely. As we walk along, just up ahead, if you look, you can see a wild pony. You must remember as well that they are wild, so please don't feed them because the National Trust asks you not to. And keep your dogs on lead when they're near because it does scare them. Wild ponies can seem very docile, but you've got to remember they can kick out, so you should really keep your distance unless you really know what you're doing with them. This pony looks really content grazing. Doesn't seem to be really bothered by us at all. The ponies here on the lizard are not really of a specific type. They're not like the Dartmoor or the Exmoor ponies. We then came up on these two ponies on the track. The problem was we had dogs with us and we couldn't go past. So this caused a little bit of a problem. Luckily, there were some people coming the other way and the ponies walked with them and we just got out of the way with the dogs, so the ponies came past us. If you're walking along these rooms as well, you can see the path. Lots of these fields, the signs to keep dogs on leads. So please be responsible. There's lots of cattle about you. The farmers have got a hard enough time as it is. Let alone with cattle going over the edge. Well, here's some Cornish ingenuity. Didn't notice this last time. The rock on the chain. It's an auto closer. How great is that? Love it. Well, there you are. That leave the gate open like most people will do. And it's closed. Brilliant. And as the sun starts to shine, the aqua green colours will become far easier to see. What's it like? This is still a proper live fishing port in Cornwall. One of the few that still remain a viable entity. One thing you know when you eat fish in the restaurants here and the cafes, it's definitely very fresh. As we say goodbye to Cadwith, we carry on along the path. We have a bit of a climb now. But it's not without some stunning views. Can't stop thinking about him. I wouldn't understand if I 
Told him how I feel about him I have got him on my mind But he doesn't know my name It is absolutely beautiful And looking down on now Peaceful as well. That was a uh, battery change, and they've all left me. So we're gonna walk the next part of the path on our own, catch them up. We won't worry about rushing too much, just in case we see something worth seeing. As we were saying earlier, we did this part of the walk last time. We got a little bit further up here further so this time we're going to carry on to the lizard and we'll probably catch a bus back because we're lazy I can see a fishing boat in the distance coming into harbour As we follow the path around, we're coming up and down, and we've got some uh, pretty cranky steps to go over. And uh, it comes around, and you're going to see the staircase cut into the hillside. You gotta admire it because someone has been down here and made all this, all the steps. The hard work alone just doing that has got to be admired. But here we come. How amazing are they? Okay, so we're walking down this last path now that leads us into Church Cove. That's where we got to last time. And we uh, didn't go any further. But we're gonna carry on this time. You can see if you look at me, I am starting to leak a little bit from the head. But, uh, that's quite normal, you wanna see me when I'm <laughs> in foreign lands. It's gotta make you want to come to Cornwall, doesn't it? You know, and if you're in a different part of the world, and you come to England, Cornwall's only three hours from Heathrow Gatwick. So you've got no excuses, really. You could be down here the same day. And if you come springtime, or autumn time, you tend to get the weather without so many tourists. I should have told you that, should I? Because you'll be coming now. Finally home. of the sun and it is going down we will remember them on the night of December the 29th 1962 the Argari and her crew of 12 were lost in a storm off this coast if you look down the coast you can see in the far distance I'm going to try and point to it sort of here 
our campsite is on the hill up there. So that's the walk we've done today. That's Cougar. We made it to the Lizard Lifeboat Station. We'll carry on up this path. Finally get into the Lizard. Well, while I'm walking up here, it gives me time to sort of say to you if you're really enjoying <laughs> my little walks, my little videos, and all the rest of the bits and pieces, why not subscribe? Well, as we come down this path, come around this little wall. And there we are, the lizard. So we're almost there. Just look at that craggy Cornish coastline. You can understand why so many souls have been lost on this peninsula. Is on the way. Oh, oh, my love, my love, we form and rise to be so free. In time, we cease infinity. Growing love, growing love. Well, I don't really know what this is. I'm thinking it may be a nav navigation point for shipping. Um, if anybody does know, why don't you tell me in the comments below? Probably something quite simple. We'll look it up and see if I can find out. And if I do, you'll be reading it below what it actually is. If the weather forecast is anything to go by tonight, we're going to have really clear skies. And one of the great things about this part of the world is it's a dark sky area. And we may just be lucky enough to see the Milky Way. I don't know if it'll come out on video. That doesn't stop me taking a photograph. I'm putting the photograph up for you all to see. But it would be great if I could catch it on a video. We'll see. We'll be fighting to hold the line. We're never hiding, we never lie. And I'll be coming home. And you'll be going strong. And I know there is a reason. Well, that's a nice as well these days. I used to see Lewis when I was a child. Now ready to be home Yeah, ready to be home So here we are, this is a lizard. It's really quiet compared to what we've seen everywhere. Still, there's a pub over there. And I think that's where we're going next. And I'll be coming home And you'll be going strong My love, infinity So free And I'll be coming home This is infinity My love, my love, infinity 
on Sunday morning. It looks like we're in for another beautiful day. Clear skies. It's starting to empty out a bit now. There's a few people packing up. So maybe they're trying to get home before the Monday madness. The roads will be quite busy, I'd imagine. We're not, though. Um, today we're going to go down to the beach. Spend some hours on there and go swimming. I think this will be our last trip into Cornwall for a few weeks now. So the next big trip out we got is going to be up at Busfest. <laughs> This is Canuck Sands. This is quite quintessentially a little Cornish seaside beach. If you want a little bit of Cornwall, it's a place to come. There is car parking. You see, got lifeguards at this beach. Typical little shops. There is toilets. And the uh, cost of the park down here at the moment is £5 all day. It's not too bad really for Cornwall. And there you are. Three star award. Excellent bathing quality. If you want to get to the uh, far beach, a dog friendly beach, you come up behind the cafe, Mora Cafe. Yeah, go beyond the toilets and there's a path on the right. So we're going to walk up the path now. Give us some lovely views across the beach. There's toilets up here, just in case you can get come down here and get caught short. Appears to have gone in for a little while, which is nice while we're walking. And these steps are the next place we gotta go up. Today, by the way, I'm filming back on the Osmo Pocket too. More for convenience, really, because we're going to the beach. I wanted to escape for a while. Thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind. I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight I know that I need to get myself back in the game Someone said your name had a ton of room Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd Everything comes back in the blink of an eye It's like you're mine, you're still mine They skip the small talk Cause you know me better than I I'll just take you down to the edge of the water now and now the tide's gone right out so you can have a little look. And this is what all these beaches that really you benefit from wearing beach shoes. I went bare for it and it was quite uncomfortable. Quite painful at times. But when you're looking out and you see those beautiful green patches, it's sandy and not like this. This is the darker patches. I called a couple of friends and we went out. But I never thought I'd see your face. I really wanted to escape, but it was just too late. Someone said your name had a time. Thought we'd come over and have a look at a few rock pools as well. See what we can see while we're here. So it's quite interesting. You're still my We skip the small talk because you know me better than I know myself on my speed. A while now since I saw you, but it feels like yesterday somehow. Yeah, you know me like nobody 
stuck in a couple of rock pools. I still think we've been very lucky, really. Uh, normally see a little bit more in there than what we've seen. But I hope you enjoyed it all the same. Yeah. Gave you a little trip to the seaside. When the tide goes right out, you can actually get from one beach to the other. It's going to be across rocks. It's probably be a bit slippery as well, so uh, I probably won't film it. There's enough I can the camera and uh, do the rocks as well. You can see where Connect Sands is. And the patch of rocks we're going to go across now. morning well I told you at the beginning of the video I was gonna show you the new van you might just get a peek behind me and see what it is and turn around the camera and you can see we've bought ourselves a VW auto sleeper it's a um, T4 with a 2.5 one or two engine in it. It ended up being the one we travelled to Tiverton for. There's a few bits and pieces we're going to do to it along the way. Um, just a crash stamp on it to make it look how we want it to look. But I think it's going to enable us to do some winter camping some more adventures well thanks for watching the video and if you liked it give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this why not subscribe to my channel in the next video we will be going to bus fest up at Malvern where we'll be going to our first VW show of the year see you next time guys thanks for watching see you later we're closing